here got the right stander ZK 61 inch deck with the arrow cord deck. Got the trimmer mount on the side. Now this is all about with law enforcement helping him out today. Uh, mow some properties, him and his guys. So this, I wanted to just give you guys a brief overview of, cause I put about three, actually four hours on this machine just this morning. Um, he's got this power chute on here, which is absolutely amazing. And I think I'll be buying them for my mowers. Um, it's simply just going like that with the foot pedal. And you can also get a toggle switch and you can kind of feather it in between, which is super cool. Uh, the handles definitely take a little bit of getting used to. I like the fact that you can hop off uh, with the parking brake off as long as the blades are off. Um, the suspension is decent, but I'll be honest, um, I'm not used to this. Like, mean in the wheels is fine. I like this angle and the operator visibility. The machine feels very short. The biggest thing for me was I'm used since I'm used to being behind the wheels. I feel like the suspension is a little bit different on, on my pro stance. This felt very bumpy when the lawns are bumpy. If it's a smooth lawn, you're fine. But it, I could really feel it on my knees with uh, some of the rougher terrain. Um, I like this style. I know with the newer mowers, they switched over these gas tanks. I really like this look though on the uh, standard ZK here from right. But uh, this is pretty pretty nice machine. That's for sure. Um, we ran into some issues today. He, he, Abel's got a 72 ZK dually and uh, a deck wheel broke on one of those and the deck wheel broke on me today um, in the same spot that they just split in half. So I'm not really sure what caused that or why that happened, but uh, yeah. And then we got the garbage there. That's a little garbage can area. That's kind of nice to have on board. The Kawasaki FX 850V. I believe that probably comes out to close to 30 horsepower there, probably 29 to 30. So, or 27. So pretty good though, overall. I uh, just wanted to make this brief video kind of comparing it cut wise, did pretty good on the cut. Nothing to really to complain about there. We are cutting at about three inches today. One thing I didn't really like with the cutting system is uh, this pin is a little interesting to try and figure out. You line up, you know, these slots with which hole it's supposed to be in. A little difficult to figure out at first which one where it says we were trying to cut at three today we pretty much got that down this right here is the aftermarket pedal for the uh power shoot there you guys can see so and that that is super cool this this is not something that's sold by right it's a separate company and i about added these on these mowers and that is a super cool thing for so you don't blow grass and mulch beds and whatnot but uh, overall after putting four hours on the machine great mower i know a couple guys in the area that run these things and uh, they're pretty nice, pretty nice. I still like my Gravely, don't get me wrong. Great machine, but uh, definitely cool to try something else, something different, no doubt about it. One other thing I wanna point out is uh, this throttle just seems in such a weird position to me to, to push forward. Same with, you know, the choke and the blades. I mean, the key's kinda fine because it's right here, the blades are kinda fine, the choke's all right. Just this throttle seems in a weird position. They should have maybe moved it back a little farther Got the hour meter on there, 91.6. I started the day with like 87. Uh, parking brake's a little weird to get out with the trimmer mount, but I'm sure if this trimmer mount wasn't there, this would be easy to get at. I did not use the trimmer mount, so I can't really say how that works. But I want to show you guys too. See that steep hill over there? Uh, Abel had one of the guys on that with a 72. And even the 72 still slid down that hill on one spot. But uh, way over here, in this area, there's a pond, and the slope is no joke like this and uh, the mower did it just fine. So I'll give them that, that this thing holds hills pretty well, or the 72 did, because it's got the dual wheels and the 72 inch deck. But uh, this is the right standard ZK61, just a brief walk around. Not really so much a review on the machine because I only have four hours on it, but just my thoughts and impressions after running it for a couple hours. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.